everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great week. Um, it is the weekend and I am so happy it's the weekend. <laughs> I do have a few of items in my Lululemon bag. Uh, so let's just get to it. And I don't have any fails this week, so that's a great thing because these are just a few of my favorite things, right? All right, so let's start with primer. Um, I have still been loving the L'Oreal Revitalift Invis Miracle Blur Primer. As you can see, <laughs> I've been like squeezing every little bit out of here. I did get a new one today, right there. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get this one plum empty before I open the new one. I just love it. It seriously blurs any pores, any fine lines, just gives you a beautiful base for your foundation. Um, for under eye primer, I've been using the Laura Geller. Let's start that over. The Laura Geller Spackle Multi Care Eye Primer. This has one of the metal tips you just roll underneath your eye and it's in an illuminating under eye primer. It is very illuminating. It's very nice. Um, it does hydrate under the eye. Um, do I like it better than the e.l.f. under eye? No, but I do need to get a new e.l.f. So, but this has been good. Absolutely. Um, let's talk about eyeshadow. I have been pulling this baby out, the L'Oreal La Palette Nude 2. Um, been using it for all over the eyes and absolutely have loved it. Absolutely. Um, they blend beautifully. They're very pigmented. There's not any fallout. I don't have to clean out underneath the eyes. Truly is a fabulous, fabulous product. Um, let's see. Powder. Um, I've been using the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin Skin Transforming Powder. I'm actually wanting to get a new one that NYX has. I have not been out to get that yet. I do need to um, place an order on Ulta, and um, so I'll probably see if I can get that then. But this is this is really nice. Does not make me look cakey. Doesn't um, sink into any pores or fine lines. Regardless if I use this or a different primer, it just really is a nice powder that does give you coverage, again, without looking cakey. Blush. Uh, it's almost Halloween. It's a perfect time to pull out me some exposed. Yes, look at that. Big time. <laughs> This thing is going to last forever. If you understood how much I have put this on my face since buying it moons ago, um, it's just really going to last forever. It is a beautiful, beautiful fall, winter, heck, summer and spring. I don't care what time of year it is. I rock it no matter what time of the year because this is my favorite holy grail blush. No matter what blushes I have, this is always one that um, I end up going to most of the time. Okay, highlighter. I'm really trying to leave my Opal, my Becca Opal alone. <laughs> I'm really trying. It's hard. It's hard. But this week, I have been enjoying my MAC Soft and Gentle. Here again, something that I've had for many, many many moons and look I mean I do have a divot in the middle but it's it's probably gonna last forever it is just fabulous it's a beautiful highlighter put it on cheekbones nose uh, cupid's bow you know all the normal places um we are just moving along the under eye concealer I cannot find my urban decay naked skin concealer um I'm not sure, I just, I don't know where it is. It must have fallen into a different drawer. I haven't really looked that hard for it. Um, so, 
since I didn't have that, I've been pulling out my Tarte uh, Maracuda, Car Maracuja. I cannot speak today. I do not know what my problem is. The Maracuja Creaseless Concealer. Um, I put just a tiny little drop on one finger and then rub two fingers together, then place it down because if you put too much, it does crease and it does look too much. Um, so just a little bit and it covers quite nicely and I've had no problem with it creasing when I apply it like that. Um, let's talk about brows. Um, I have been using the a good old drugstore, the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. And this is the color Brunette. And it's just a small, small pencil, just like the Anastasia, and just like the NYX one. So I really do like that. And let's see. I think that's the only brow product. No. I've been setting it with the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. Very nice. It keeps the brows in place. Doesn't make them, um, like feel real thick or like you've got like super hold hairspray on them doesn't do, doesn't do that um the eyeliner that i've been enjoying is the revlon color stay i have it in gray um charcoal actually and that is just a very nice eyeliner it goes on beautifully it stays and then i love the smudger that they have on the end just really makes it look part of your eye look not something separate um some eye eyeliners when you put them on it's like just boom line this one when you smudge it out a little bit it makes it look like it's actually part of your eye look um the mascara that i have been loving is the max factor maestro Masterpiece Max High Volume Definition Mascara. This is something that I got in an influencer box. And I tell you what, this not only gives you volume, but it gives you length. It does not, um, it doesn't bunch your lashes up. It just doesn't give you spidery lashes. It just gives you beautiful, like a fall set of lashes. Gives you volume, gives you length, and again, got this from an influencer. I'm going to look and see where I can buy another one. Um, and the color is velvet black, of course. Of course. Okay, lips. All week I've been pulling out the MAC Lip Liner in Whirl. And that is just pretty, pretty color. And the lip products that I have been putting on. Um, today I have the Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche lipstick in Pepper. Which again, oh, I love the smell of these. It's on my lips. But there is a swatch. Absolutely beautiful. And that was from Influencer as well. Gotta love Influencer. Have you signed up with them yet? Um, next is a full body lip gloss um, in the color Pucker Up. And it's just a sample size from Buxom. I don't really like the sample size things. Um, I like full size. but And this is not one of the plumping, which is, I don't like that either. But I like the plumping ones. So there is Pucker Up by Buxom. And that is just a creamy, creamy, full-on lip gloss. Um, I've been digging totally these Ulta, the Ulta brand, their matte lipsticks. This is in the color Rosette. This is a matte formula. It's 0% drying, not at all, and has some serious staying power. And again, it's the Ulta brand. They're only a couple of dollars. Ulta always has deals, buy one, get one, or buy one, get one half off, or buy two, get one. 
So um, check them out. Again, Ulta mats. Very nice. They remind me of the Maybelline matte line because those are very creamy as well. But I think these actually stay around longer than those. Um, last but not least um, is the Smashbox Lip Gloss in Chick Copper. And this is very nice. There's not much color on its own. Not, I mean, there is color, but it's not opaque. But you can put this on top of, say, a lip liner or a lipstick and just gives it a nice metallic look. So, I really like that. Okay, let's see. Um, I think that is all. I don't have anything else other than, um, Tidal. You know, I work out at Tidal. I do boxing and kickboxing. And I'm happy to say, um, on the 19th, I'm going to start a fight camp. It's, well, they're not actually calling this one a fight camp. I think it's called, like, the Lion's Den or something like that. It's just, um, intense. Um, I still go to my normal six seven classes that I do a week there, um, but add on this just, it's a two hour workout, and it's not a normal hit in the bag, it's like, kind of like the trainers um, that we have, um, several of them are actual fighters, and the training that they do prior to a fight, so you know it's going to be intense, so I can't wait. So I might look a little tired after that, <laughs> but I am super excited, super excited, because I'm going to look good in my Halloween costume. Yes, baby. So I'm going to start on the 19th, and it's going to see if I can post a picture of me in my Halloween outfit on social media. So... You want to see that? You better sure you're make sure you're subscribed and go down. And I have all of my social media sites listed down below because you definitely don't want to miss anything. All right, everyone.